We can also find equivalent fractions with mixed numbers. Let's say we've got one and three quarters and we want to express it as eighths. We've got a four as our denominator. So what we want to do is find an equivalent fraction for one and three quarters with eight as the denominator. So we can express it using eights, but before we do, we've got a mixed number because it's a mixture of a whole number and a fraction. And I want to actually make it into an improper fraction. So my one is going to be expressed as quarters. Now, if I've got quarters and I've got one, that's all of the quarters. That means I have four quarters. And then I've got three more quarters. So four quarters plus another three quarters means I have seven quarters. So one and three quarters is exactly the same as seven quarters. It's just that one's written as a mixed number and one's written as an improper fraction. Now remember though, I wanted eighths. So I still need to change seven quarters to an equivalent fraction with eighths. Now how is four and eight related? Remember, we always need to check how the denominators are related. Well, four multiplied by two gives me eight. I end up with smaller pieces, but twice as many. So I need to do the same to the numerator. I'm gonna multiply seven by two, and I'm gonna end up with 14 pieces, but of course they're smaller. So seven quarters is equivalent to 14 eighths. But remember, seven quarters was the improper fraction. We actually started with one and three quarters. So we now know that one and three quarters expressed as eighths is 14 eighths. Now we could go another step and we can actually think of 14 eighths as a mixed number as well. That's a mixed number and that's an improper fraction, but it is in eighths. So now all we need to do is actually think of how we can make that a mixed number. So 14 eighths, if we think of eight as our denominator, eight eighths is one whole. Now we had 14 eighths, so what we need to do is see how many eighths we've got left. 14 minus eight is six. So if we take eight eighths out to make our whole, we still have six eighths. So 14 eighths is the same as one plus six eighths, or one and six eighths. Now getting back to where we started, we had one and three quarters, and we worked out that it was equal to 14 eighths, but we also know that that is the same as one and six eighths. So we could express one and three quarters as eights, either as an improper fraction or a mixed number.